can't sell your house? I have somebody who can help. Guru Barbara Corcoran shows you how. Usually adds roughly 5 to 7% to the sale value. Then, can you spot the hottest fall bargain buy? These are three absolutely on-trend looks for fall. One is worth 16000 The other just 130 Can you tell? <laughs> Plus, be house proud with homemade decor. This is a really great idea. All under 30 bucks. Next. trying to sell their home right now probably a lot of you too the market is still not great so we've got solutions to help with real estate expert Barbara Corcoran who's on the show Shark Tank also on today's show great style design and fashion tips but first let's start with this couple's story Nate are you planning to move to Long Island because we would love to sell you a starter home when we first started looking for our house it was a year after uh, we got married so it was the next natural step for us we had been renting until that time we were ready to buy our first house we bought from the original owners. Our children, they first started walking in the house. It definitely has some really good memories. And we decided to sell the house this year because our kids are getting older. They like to run around. They like to play tag. They just don't have the space here. We've made a lot of improvements to the house. We have beautiful hardwood floors, a new kitchen, a beautiful new bathroom. But still, we can't seem to sell it. We also have to keep the home in perfect and in condition. That's really hard to do when you have a six-year-old and a four-year-old. We had over 100 people come and take a look at this house in a four-month period, and we got zero offers. We actually found a few homes that we really fell in love with. We couldn't make the move because we couldn't sell this house. The hardest thing for me is living in a house that I've already mentally decided that I'm not going to live here. The pictures are put away, so it, it doesn't really feel like my home right now, which is very frustrating. Nate, we are really stuck. We feel like we've done everything the professionals have told us to do, and still we can't sell this house. We definitely need some help. Please welcome Mike and Jennifer to the show. Hi, guys. Hi. Thank you, thank you for being here. My pleasure. So I get what you're saying. The pictures are put away. It feels like you're in complete transition. How long has it been on the market? It's been on the market for the last six months, and in that time, we've had zero offers. We've had a ton of traffic as well, and they didn't even give us a lowball offer. It's just really frustrating. I understand the real estate broker told you not to improve anything, but you yes. went ahead and spent $17,000 on redoing your kitchen anyway? That's yes. correct. So that kitchen, that be, I didn't know who was buying that house with that old kitchen, actually, so I'm not sure how I feel about yeah. that advice. But really, so even after you put $17,000 into the house, you didn't even mark up the price. Correct. We kept it exactly the same. Same price. Right. And still nothing. Not Correct. one offer. Not All right. one well, offer. Well, I have somebody who can help. Hopefully, she's the creator of the Corcoran Group, which is one of the top real estate firms in New York City. Please help me welcome Barbara Corcoran. <laughs> It's too long for a home to be on the market. More than 90 days. And you know what goes awry? A customer that walks in, all of them, always say, what's the price? And the next question is, how long has it been on the market? And the minute you say more than three months, it's the kiss of death. They think, what's wrong with it? So they're looking at your house from the wrong perspective right out of the get-go. So six months is only three months too long. Even in this market? Even in this market, definitely. Because it used to be 30 days. It then used to a be house would days. be considered stale when everybody had so much money, right? In the good old days when everybody was dying to get their hands on a house. Those right. days are gone, as you know. Yeah. So how is their house overpriced? Because really, how does that happen? They put $17,000 into it to put in a new kitchen. Still mm -hmm. not one person said... I like this kitchen. I liked your kitchen. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> um, but is it overpriced? Is that the deal? Well, you know, in your neighborhood, homes are typically selling, because I checked it out, between mm -hmm. 350 and 375 okay. The best homes always sell in the middle somewhere. Your home is priced still at 399 I think, yes. right? Too high, I could tell you, out of the gate. Also, you mentioned that you had over 100 showings. Correct. In this market, if you have 14 showings on average, you should have a bid. 
So once you hit 14 shows, if you don't have a bid, you're overpriced, even if the broker tells you it's a wonderful price. Right. Because people aren't biting. Like you said, you just want one insulting offer at least, right? Right. <laughs> just be insulting at this point. Well, I think you're in the same position as so many people out there, but uh, it, do brokers just in order to get the account do they mm -hmm. just price it higher and hope for the best no you know you have to realize when you go in as a broker you're obviously in the people business most brokers are nice and not animals okay you get a few losers like in any field but when they go in they really want to please you so it's not as though they're saying i'm going to tell them what they want to hear but they're feeling your pressure like do you love my kitchen do you love my living room? Sure. So that price is very is moving up even as they're looking at your house. So it's always a misjudgment in that case, but one out of the goodness of their heart. How's that? That makes sense. That, makes sense. that really does make wrong. sense. <laughs> All right, well, that, it's right. It doesn't help, yeah, no, but, no, it's no, still, no. but it does make sense. You need hard so, love sometimes, right? Yeah. Yeah. We all do. Even in design. Oh, this is a living room. Because yeah. everyone always says to me, you're such a nice decorator. And I'm like, well, yeah, but I tell the truth. Yeah. I mean, you have to tell well, the truth. Or you wouldn't get the next job. Ever. Yeah. Right. Or, or hold on to that one, yeah. for that matter. This is Mike and Jennifer's living room right here. Let's talk about this, Barbara, because uh -huh. this is what, this is right off the entry of your home. This is the first thing uh -huh. that every single one of those hundred people that came to look at your house see. Uh -huh. Very first thing. Barbara, have at it. I've got some ideas, too. Okay. All right. Well, a lot is wrong with it. You don't mind? You want to no. understand? No, no, no. Okay. Oh, awesome. uh, have your permission. Okay. Yes. Um, this, I understand why you have this. It probably fronts the street, but these sure. have to go because you know what? The most alluring thing to every buyer out there after location, they say, oh, I want this location. When you ask them why they bought that house, they say the location, and the second thing they say is light. Light is so underestimated, the power to sell a house. So you're knocking out all your natural light here. So I know you need the privacy, but there's got to be a different window treatment that lets the light in. Mm -hmm. Even right. draperies, actually, if I can add here for a second. You could do one panel here, mm -hmm. and That's there could be another one over here, mm -hmm. and this could be a double width. Mm -hmm. So this could draw this way, and this could draw this way, mm -hmm. and you have a beautiful framework. Mm -hmm. I get the privacy. My sister-in-law is the same way. She doesn't yeah. want people on the street looking at my niece and nephew when right. they're playing their games and all that. Mm -hmm. Let them figure that out later. Okay. They need okay. to see a gorgeous, bright space. I agree uh -huh. with you on that. All right. okay. Yeah, I like this, too, because it, it, it makes the ceiling look higher. Definitely. All right, these, and by the way, I don't think you have to worry about privacy, because I doubt whether anybody's ever sat in these couches. They, <laughs> they look to me, honestly, like it's a doctor's waiting room or maybe a timeout chair for a bad kid. But I wouldn't say they're inviting, and I honestly don't even know how a marriage happens on those. <laughs> how do you talk to each other? There <laughs> isn't really a space for conversation here. No, you're no, absolutely no, no, right. No, no, no. So you've got the sofa lined up. The front door is actually over here. Oh, yes. Yes. And if I'm not mistaken, there was a chair in that in the video right here. Yes. Correct. So you've yes. got the back of a chair as soon as people walk in. Mm, That's yes. true. All lined up facing the this TV. big wall unit. Let's talk about that for a second. Well, this wall unit, I don't, I can't see how deep it is, but I can tell you it's got to go simply because it foreshortens the width of the room. I course. agree. And space, of course, is what people are buying, not the wall unit. Right. 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 Absolutely. It also looks a little bit on the cheap side. I bet you didn't spend a while. It looks dated. <laughs> we didn't put that in. It was dated. Yeah, it was a <laughs> and oh, one more thing. And one more thing that I think is important to point out. Um, the house was built when? 1951. Okay. So um, here is exactly what was going on in 1951. Um, it's yeah. not quite cool enough to be retro. Um, in about another 10 years, people will be like, where's that cool brick they used in 1951? Yeah. Right now, I would paint all of this out. This all needs to go white. This needs to be cleaned up. Even the, they, they sell paint now at any home improvement store mm -hmm. that would take away these little metal accents and just let that go away and be a solid black fireplace grill. Mm -hmm. But this, I think, needs to be painted out completely. And you can leave the concrete. I think that that would look good, this, mm -hmm. this sill here. And may so, I say, may, if I might add, sure. from a buyer, because I see it from a buyer's perspective, mm -hmm. from a buyer's perspective, this is itchy. It draws the eye. So you don't want them to see the wide space. You don't want to draw their eye. It's a mm -hmm. pattern that you want doesn't it to help blend. Mm -hmm. Yep, I absolutely agree. All right, we're going to take a quick break, Barbara, because when we come back, we're going to show you how to make an entry that are, that's going to stop people in their tracks in a good way. We've got a lot more to come. We'll be right back. Coming up, powerhouse Barbara Corcoran secrets to sell your home fast. It makes a difference of the house selling or not. And later, three absolutely on-trend